Right, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to make sure that you, I pretty much guarantee that you're going to increase your driver distance in what is effectively just a two second drill. And fundamentally, you've got to understand what it is you're doing with your setup, also the way you're delivering your driver and what impact it is having in terms of your overall carry distance and overall distance traveled with driver. Dead simple drill. We're going to Hand's gonna move on back. I'm gonna address this ball as I would. And I'm gonna explain to you some key differences which will change your ball flight. And like I said, a simple change to your setup will ensure your ball flight changes significantly and ultimately so does your carry distance. No extra effort required in terms of club head speed. So, pretty much most of us know now, and if you don't, your general rule of thumb is driver setup your ball is generally just inside your lead heel so for me my left foot i then adopt this kind of position arms out straight in front of me and then what i'm looking to do is impact a sort of upward blow onto my driver we all understand that but are we all doing it the problem is if you're not is you can hit what is a descending blow so that's coming into the club de-lofting what is not a great deal of loft anyway on your driver and hitting a low ball flight which looks something like this now what you can see from there with the slow-mo camera hopefully is my hands are ahead of the ball at impact like i said really de-lofting it squeezing that ball out to a low ball flight can be a great shot to have in the bag at times but ultimately you are losing carry distance and if you've got the right driver fit for you in terms of shaft type and making sure that the spin number is right and all those other things that you've got to consider with custom fit then that is having a negative impact on your performance so what do we do to change it a drill that we've seen very very similar in a previous video that i've done this, by the way, is from Ali Taylor. I should have mentioned that. And Ali Taylor's, uh, the link to his video will be in the description below uh, as usual. And if there's any bits that I've missed out or if um, you're misunderstanding my interpretation, then go and check out Ali's video. But what Ali's talking about is again, that low point in the swing. It's really important. And for me, watching, testing the tips over the last few months, understanding the fundamentals of the low point of the swing is key to switching between your driver your irons your wedges your hybrids ball position understanding where that low point is is key plenty of videos that we've got on this channel and others to explain it but with driver your low point needs to be behind the ball and what that low point means very very quickly it's the lowest point of the arc in your swing so at some point your arm is fully extended your club is out and it hits the ground at what we call the low point of the swing so when it starts to rise again we're starting to sort of move above off the ground that is no longer the low point of the swing and it's important that with driver the low point is behind the ball and with irons the low point becomes in front of the ball so in other words a descending blow means that the low point is in front of the ball an upward blow would mean that the low point is behind the ball everyone understanding that so far right the problem you've got is a lot of us are hitting our drivers with a descending blow de-lofting and moving that low point ahead of the ball and as you can see from that first drive what it means is the ball has got a much lower ball flight and you're losing yards so what we're going to try and do i'm going to get set up for this one we're going to set this club head up six eight inches behind the ball real exaggeration so what's happening is our ball position isn't changing but our club head is now six or eight inches behind the ball and it's very much center to my sternum so our hands are staying exactly where they are there's no forward lean i'm just staying exactly where i am and what that means is if i'm going to step back from the ball if i take a practice swing what you'll see is that we're hitting the ground at our low point behind the ball what does that mean well it means that our low point is in the right position and the club head itself in driver's terms is on an upward blow that's exactly what we want to try and do so it's almost impossible to hit this now you can't transfer yourself you can't start to shut your hands down and get that low point bottom in after the ball so it's dead simple like i said it's a two second drill we'll try one whilst the camera is on right 
Behind the ball, I'm going to take a bit of a, uh, a practice swing. Nice and easy, nothing any different. All I'm going to do is make sure that I've got that shoulder tilt, which is automatically, automatically adopted. I'm going to stay in my position, so my tilt and my upward blow is going that way. And this is what happens. Up. All I'm going to do, let's go a bit further back, let's really exaggerate it. Up. As you can see from that ball flight, it's super high, arguably too high. But there's a huge carry on it. What you need to work out is exactly what suits you. And like I said, for me, that's too high of a ball flight. So I'm almost putting two. I've got a lot of loft on this driver I'm using right now. Not maybe the ideal thing to demonstrate what I'm looking to do. But you'll see the huge difference between the two ball flights. And all I have done, I haven't changed anything in terms of my swing. Everything stayed the same. The only thing that has changed is my low point. So when you see that low one again, just watch where the hands are. The hands are almost ahead of the ball. I'm delivering the club and the low point very much in and around where the ball is. It's always going to change a little bit, but that's wrong. That ball fight isn't helping anybody. We've adopted that position, move back, and all of a sudden, we've been able to maintain that tilt in the shoulders. If you watch that swing going through there, everything was on that upward blow. It meant the ball was traveling in the right direction in terms of that launch angle, maximizing the potential in terms of carry distance and ultimately swung no faster, but gaining quite a considerable difference in terms of overall carry. Now look, this video from Ali Taylor, I've seen in numerous different ways delivered and explained Essentially, it's understanding low points. And honestly, in all the videos that I've done, that's the key thing that is a message throughout them all. But I firmly believe that it doesn't matter which video it is that sort of rams it home and the bit that you understand that finally makes it work, but it is essential and a real fundamental that you need to understand as part of your game. Now, this is driver. It's very different with irons, but that's the drill. Just simply get your address position, right? Keep exactly where you are. Take that club head back. Don't be looking to attack the ball. Don't be feeling like all of a sudden you've got to shift yourself forward because the ball's further away. Swing the club exactly as you would normally. And just let the club head do its thing. So we're hitting the ground effectively here. That's where the bottom of the club is hitting. And that's where then I'm starting to take the club on the upswing and you can see the significant difference that it makes. Short and sweet, two second drill. I'm not gonna over, over complicate this one. I'm done and dusted. Go out and try it for yourself. See if that one works and what kind of a difference it makes to your drives. Because I believe it will increase your carry distance significantly if you are currently de-lofting that driver in any way. Right, thank you for watching the video. I don't know what channel you're watching it on right now, either testing the tips or the average golfer. Another reminder as ever, all our tip videos will be moving over to testing the tips channel in the weeks ahead. That's the only place you'll get to see them. So make sure you go over, subscribe to testing the tips, leave your comments and your feedback there and let me know, has this helped you in any way? Because I love reading any comments that uh, make me think that our videos are helping you play some better golf. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.